Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond. I'm your host, Renovate. Guys, I went down uh, into the caves and I've died, I don't know, probably six or seven times. The, the skeletons seem to shoot arrows a lot faster than what a typical, um, a typical vanilla skeleton can do. So they're hard to get away from and their arrows hurt. <laughs> they hurt really bad. Uh, so I went and I got um, some lead and I got some copper and I got some crushed nickel and some crushed zinc and we are just going to put that uh, I don't know if I can what what does it take to make these so that's my that's my lead okay and then let's take our copper all right so there's our copper so we still have some nuggets left I don't really know where to put the nuggets so I'm just gonna put them in here for right now I think uh, we still have gold to smelt and then I got niter, this and this. I'll just put all that stuff in there. Lead ingot. I actually need the lead ingot because I want to make uh, something today that's going to help us get just a little bit of resources. And it's the uh, strainer. It's this thing right here. But in order to do that, we got to make these things, right? So I made a bunch of these. We still need to make a bunch of these. And I went and got a bunch of wood. And I don't know how much andesite. Uh, andesite I keep saying andesite. Andesite alloy. So we got that. We might have enough to do this, actually, because I put... Where did our wood go? Uh-oh. Um, where did all our wood go? <laughs> I thought I had a bunch of, I, you know what? I did have a bunch of wood. What did we do with it? I must have freaking used it. There's our dried kelp that I didn't mean to uh, cook. Yeah, that sucks. All right, so, well, anyways, we can go out here and cut these trees down. So I planted some trees here, and then I made a boat. You can see the boat sitting right there. I made a boat. We took it across the water. If you look over there, there's a village, and in that village was a couple chests. I'll show you what we got from there. And then also down in these caves, I'll show you what the caves look like. Down inside the caves are some um, treasure chests. And they had some um, diamond in them. And some other cool things. I think one of them actually had an emerald in it. But we did get some diamonds. And so I went and put one of the diamonds on... Holy crap. I went ahead and put one of the diamonds on our pickaxe. So you can see down there we got a diamond pickaxe or at least a diamond modifier on it. And let's go ahead and plant these trees back like this. All right, so now we got the wood that we need to make this strainer. So I wanna make this strainer because I remember from, I don't remember what pack it was. I was playing a pack by myself and um, it was allowing us to use strainer. So I'm gonna put all the wood in there. Let's see if we can make some more of these things. Let's go to that, to that, and then I need to make some more of these. So, and they only make like one at a time. So there's that one. Where did we put the rest of them at? Oh, here they are, six. I only need eight of them. So let's try that again. I wish you could make these in, a, in like in a stack, but you can only make, so there's eight. Let's get rid of that and they go like this. And then we gotta put that little piece in there like this, all right? So I think if you take this, all right, I think if you put this in here, it changes, no. So what is, is it the cutter? Something in this mod pack will change these things. Uh, let's press R on this and shaped crafting. That's not what I'm looking for. So if we put it in the cutter, yeah, the cutter will make all these different machines. So, and it doesn't cost anything. So like one andesite machine will make utility pipe modules. It makes all this stuff here. Uh, storage interface, the funnels, the mechanical plow. We're gonna end up using this harvester, I think to make, um, to make uh, the thing that cuts the kelp. So I got kelp growing out here, lots of it. And then I've been planting some vegetables and some fruit. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in here. And then we actually need that with some iron bars. All right, how much iron do we have? We have enough iron to make the iron bars. So let's go ahead and make the iron bars. And what do we do with the iron? It was right, it was literally like right here. Why can't I see it? What? Oh, it's down here. Why doesn't it put here? There we go. Now we can see it all. Nope, we still can't see it all. There it is, iron bars. Good Lord. All right, so there's the iron bars. Here's the stuff I got. I got some of these buddy card packs. I don't know what those are, but we'll figure it out that figure that out later. I got some emeralds, um, diamond. I got a golden apple. I got some TNT, um, some rails. But yeah, if we go down here, it's pretty scary. I've been putting these stairs here because it gets pretty scary down here. 
But at the very bottom of this thing is, um, I'll show you where it's at. It's way down here at the bottom. Uh, right here, there's a chest right there. Once you open it, it changes colors. And then um, there's actually another one at the other end of this. Down that way, you can actually see, you see the little uh, stone right there, like right there. That's just, if you take this one and go down that side and go down, that's where the other one is. And then this is where I've been mining, like way back into that corner, way back there. And that's where I got like the lead and the gold. Um, crap, I got stuck on a, on a freaking um, spider web. So that's where I got my ores. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out another way to, to get ores. And they actually told us how to do it in the book. So we'll have to uh, look at that. So we need to put that machine in this bar. Let's do this and then this. And that gives us a strainer base, okay? This goes two blocks down. So let's put it like right here. Um. I believe that's how it works. And then we need a strainer on the top. So let's go to sediment strainer. So we need this canvas, which is made by what? It's made by straw, um, canvas rugs, straw. Where do we get straw from? Uh, a dry plant fiber used for crafting obtained by cutting grassy crops and plants with a knife. With a knife? Um, how do you make a knife? Is that part of this thing? Uh, is this a knife? No, that's a dagger. I'll have to look at this. Let's look at it for a knife. Knife? Oh, they do have knives. Check this out. An iron knife, a flint knife. So it's just a stick and some iron. Okay. So let's grab uh, iron and a stick. No, there we go. There's our knife. And so like this, so do we get some? Nope. Um, what about this? Nope. <laughs> what did it say again? So uh, let's go back to the strainer. Strainer, okay, this is what we need right here. Sediment strainer, okay. And then to get this, um, let's go back to this. To get this, I need that. And to get this, straw bale. I have a straw bale. Is it just straw? I mean, I have straw bales. Where do we put our straw, bale, straw bales at? See, I have, oh, that's a hay bale. Oh, okay. So to get this straw information, a dried plant fiber used in crafting cutting board. So a cutting board and rice. Holy crap. Where are we going to get rice from? Um... Where we get rice from? Rice. So wild rice. Oh my gosh. I have no idea where you would catch get rice from. Crushing, milling, compacting, cutting board. I guess we could get it from the market, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Accepts any mechanic. Okay. So where would wild rice be? I mean, does it show like what biome this might be in? Rice. So there's rice plant. Um yeah, it doesn't like show like where it's at in the world. All right, well, this might be a mute cause then. <laughs> All right, if that's the case, because uh, we're about to go find some rice, and I think it grows like in shallow waters, so I'm guessing that it would grow probably like in a swamp biome, I'm guessing. I don't know. Like there is a swamp biome like over there that we could go check out, but I don't really want to waste my time on that. The other thing I wanted to do is to make a... Let's go back in here. So I want to go back into create... All right, and I want to make this thing with a blade on the front of it, and it is right here. So that takes that with a saw blade. So we need to make one of those, and then a saw blade, and iron sheets. Oh my god. So we're going to need to make this press. <laughs> okay. It looks like they're going to force us to do water wheels. All right, so uh, we can make water wheels. All right, here's a large cog wheel. Uh, we could probably make these. So let's go in here. Let's do large water wheel. Uh, actually, these. Uh, I just need some more wood. All right. Uh, did we use all our wood? Mm, it looks like we might have used all our wood. No, we didn't use it. Here's those right here. Let's grab the wood out. Let's put that in here, put these away. We'll grab a bunch of those, put that here. Actually, you know what? I think I have a large cog wheel here. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. So I that will be one of my things I need to do is go find rice. So I'll have to go exploring for rice. Uh, let's make one of these. Oh, I need some slabs. Poop. Uh, let's grab this. Let's make some slabs. All right, put those back. Let's make a water wheel. There's one. Okay, Let's. I think we need to make three of these. So there's two. And then I should be able to make two more. All right, so these things will need to be somewhere where there's water. And let's go ahead and set that up like right here. So let's go ahead and dig out this dirt. 
like that. And then I think that I can just put these like this and get rid of that and get that and that. Okay. And we probably need to dig it out. We could have probably raised this up one. So let's go ahead and see if we can raise these up one. All right, let's do, um, let's get this little block here. Oh shoot. I literally heard somebody walking. That's how I knew he was coming. Don't blow up. Nope. Oh, cool. He didn't do anything. All right, cool. So let's put this here and then we'll go like this, this, and this. All right. And then I think, see the water wheel is going to go this way. So we need water to come down that way, I'm guessing. So let's do, uh, we'll probably just have to build this out of wood. Oh crap. Probably just build this out of wood. So let's go like this, like that. And then... Probably one more high, I'm guessing. So the water would be like right here and then go underneath it. Yeah, I'm thinking that's how we ought to do that. Okay, let's go like this. I just need a couple more pieces. All right, uh, let's put this here, put that there. I'm guessing on this, guys, because I, like I said, I haven't played this mod pack, so I'm not quite sure how this works. So we're going to learn this together. And if you already know, just keep your mouth shut. I'm just kidding. If you guys know some cool tips, just let me know. All right, let's grab some water. Let's see if this actually works. All right, if I put water here, does that turn it? Oh, it does. Nice. All right, so let's grab another one, put it here. Let's grab another one and put it there. So we don't really want the water to come forward. So can I go like this? Yes, we can. All right, so that's doing a thing. All right, so then we kind of probably need to get rid of that block. All right, cool. All right, so if that's the case, uh, we need to, let's do a couple things here. Uh, let's see, do we have any food? We have some bread. Let's go ahead and eat some bread. I need to go down and dive down here and get, I want this water fill back up. All right, I need to go down here and get some of this. So let's dive down here and let's just harvest all this. All right, cool. That's all gonna race to the top. And then we'll grab all this. And then we need to combine this with andesite. Well, actually we need to uh, burn it first, I think. Or no, yeah, combine it with andesite. And then we can make some more of that goo stuff. I might actually have enough already. Let's go and check. That stuff is uh, easy to come by, that's for sure. Let's go back over here. I did, this is a tomato plant. I found a tomato plant, which is awesome. Uh, what is this? That's wheat, so it's not straw. <laughs> All right, so how many of these uh, cog things can we make? We need to make a bunch of those things. Uh, these are things right here, actually. Um, precision mechanism. Yeah, I need to make those. Nope, that's not the right ones. We need to make, um, why am I not seeing it? Uh, if I need to make these things, uh, these things, I need to make those. Um, that's actually not what I need to make. <laughs> I'm looking for the, what's the item that we have to keep making over and over and over and over? Like, if I need to make this, I need to make that. That's what I need to make. So I need to make these. Uh, so we need these bricks and some andesite. So here's the andesite. And I think our bricks are in here. Did we use them all? We might have used them all. Because I'm not seeing them in here at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing the bricks in there. And I'm not seeing them in there. So we need to make some more of these things. So let's go ahead and make some more of those. Um, I think it, uh, that's actually not even part of this pack, is it? That's weird that that's not even in this. So let's go uh, click on that, and then that, and then that, and then this. And then to get that, you got to make that, and that's clay. Okay, so we just need to mix it with clay, which I don't have a bunch of. So we need to go and find us some clay real quick. Uh, do you guys see any clay in there? There's some clay over there. I think there's a bunch of it, like, right over here off the coast. Um, yeah, that's right here. All right, let's go cook this stuff up. So we'll sit it in here. Let's put half of it in there and then the other half in here. That, and let's go ahead and make the, uh, whatever these are, these ingots. So there's that one. And then let's put a uh, zinc ingot. Let's just put all that stuff in here. This is all crafting stuff. I don't need the heart. Uh, the cinnabar we can put in here. We really need a storage system, <laughs> if anything. That's exactly what we need. Uh, do you see my shovel in here at all? I don't see my shovel at all. And like, I'm looking for it and just not seeing it. Uh, it's not in there. So what I'm thinking is this is a, uh, a shaft right here. And then I'm thinking that these shafts actually go on this thing like this. 
Yes, they do. All right, so that turns. All right, so we got that working. I think these shafts are only need, are made with just andesite, if I remember correctly. All right, so here's our andesite alloy. And I guess we can just go ahead and make a shovel. I mean, I don't see, like I said, I don't see anything. You know, let's go ahead and just make a, a plain shovel. So let's grab our sticks. Let's grab our ingots first. Ingot and then our sticks. Uh, where'd all the sticks go? There they are. There's our sticks. We'll use that to go get our andesite or our, our clay. There's the, oh, we got to take that out. Here's the nickel alloy. All right, let's put those away. And let's get the andesite and then grab the rest of that. And then we'll put these like this. And then these like this uh, are not like that. We need the andesite. Oh my God, stop like this. There we go. So this makes us more andesite. All right. And then we just need to make uh, one more of those uh, or these other things. So let's go into here, that, and then we need to make a bunch of these. So the cog wheels, let's make 16 of those. All right. And then uh, I think we're good. We need to make eight of those. So you know what we need to do is just click on this, click on that, and then press A. This puts it over here, right? So we can just keep on doing this. All right, we need to mass produce these, which we will eventually, uh, probably pretty soon, to be honest with you. So let's do that, and then that. All right, so if we take that, and then we take one of these things, and that's going to make our piece that we need, this andesite machine, right? And then the andesite machine is what we're going to need to make uh, the saw. So here's the mechanical saw. Should we make the mechanical saw first or should we make, what was the, the press? Should, what should we make first? I'm thinking that we should probably do the press. Uh, the, the only reason I wanted to make the saw is if you put it next to a tree, it basically cuts the entire tree down for you. So that's why I was thinking that. But I think we should probably go ahead and do a press. So here's the mechanical press. This is going to need a block of iron. Uh, we can probably do a block of iron, right? There we go. Got a block of iron. So if we put this in here and do this. All right. So the next thing I think we're going to need is what they call a gearbox. So here's the gearbox. We have enough to make these, I think. I think, yeah, to make the vertical one, you just have to make, you just basically put this in and it flips it vertical. But I don't know if we need to do that yet. So I want to go over here and just see how this thing works, right? So if we put a gear, this is the mechanical press. So it needs to be up and elevated, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and break this. All right. And then if we do, let's try something real quick. I'm just curious. So do we have any more of the wheels? Like the big ones, like we have, uh, I don't see the little small wheels that we made. We must have used them all. So what's it make take to make the little wheels or the gears or not the gears? What are those called? Uh, these things right here, they're called the cog wheel. So to make this, that makes eight of the little ones. And then that makes two of the big ones. All right, let's go out here and try something. We might need another shaft. I don't know. So if I take, if I dig this out. All right, and I break that off. If I put a large cog wheel on the, whoops. If we do a large cog wheel here, all right, and then I do a small cog wheel off of it, that's gonna make my torque a little bit higher. Let's see, that might put it up too high though. Yeah, and then if I put the gearbox like here, so we need a vertical gearbox, right? So that's not gonna work. So we need to take one of these, put it here, and then do this. So here's a vertical gearbox, and that would go, um, would it go under here? No, because this do, this actually needs one from the side. So we probably had it right the first time. Like I said, I'm oh, this is all new to me. So if I put it here, does it work? Mm, I can't really tell. <laughs> uh, so if I put, uh, let's see, if I put a piece of iron underneath it, Let's look at this. So we need to make, what was it? Uh, the plates. So if I need to make these, not those plates. Um, is that what they were called? I don't think that's what they were called. Let's go back into here. Let's go at uh, create. And then we need to look at, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It was the, the screen, right? Was it part of the screen, the mesh? So that was the uh, strainer. Uh, to make this, I needed the automated shaped crafting. No, this isn't, oh, the mixer. That's what we were looking for. So the mixer is a whisk and that takes iron sheets, which you just put underneath an iron ingot. All right, so let's grab our iron. Let's just see how this works. 
All right, let's take our, um, hold on, let me fix my mic. I had to go away for a little bit. Let's take our iron over here and see if this actually will smash the iron. I don't know if it will or not. It looks like it's working though. So let's try. It looks like a no. <laughs> so does it need like something to like smash it against? Um, let's try an andesite casing maybe. <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me, we did it. Check that out, we actually build something and create. That's beautiful, we did it. Game is over. All right, so we got that made, right? So if that's the case, then I can make these strainers, except I can't make the machine that like mixes it because I don't have these canvas rugs. So I'll have to go find this straw. Um, not quite sure. We'll have to, I'll have to look that up and see where, where it actually is located at. Um, I did want to show you guys something before we leave though. Um, you know what? Let's just try something real quick. Um, let's go back into here and um, let's go to at create. I want to see if I can just go ahead and make this thing so, since that's what I was planning on doing today. Uh, let me make one of these real quick. All right, so we got this andesite machine. And then the only other thing we need is this saw blade, which is these four iron sheets and then lead. So how many sheets? We need just one more iron ingot, actually. So let's just grab that. So we'll go over here and place this thing. Now, I don't think, I don't know if create, like the energy that's that it's making is actually a storable source of energy. I don't know if it's like a kinetic energy um, or if this is actually generating like an RF, okay? If you guys know, let me know. I mean, eventually I'm gonna find out, right? So there's our four of those, all right? And then let's go ahead and get this and that and that, and there's our saw blade. And then if we put that in here with our saw blade, that gives us a mechanical saw. Now, in order to make this mechanical saw to work, I think I need something that's like a, um, a crankshaft or something, if I'm not mistaken. I have seen like a couple videos on this thing, so that's where I'm getting this information from. <laughs> All right, so that's what we need is this crankshaft. Uh, we're just missing some wood. It figures. Uh, let's go like this, grab some more wood, put it in this chest, and there's our crankshaft. All right, cool. So if I take this over here and we set this next to this tree, um, so <laughs> the, the tool that we're actually missing out of the pack, or not out of the pack, but what we're doing is this thing here, uh, this wrench. So what does it take? I think it takes like gold to make the wrench. Let's go back into at create and then wrench. There's that. So we need gold sheets. Okay. So we need, uh, three of these. So let's go make this wrench real quick. Cause that way I can, you can actually flip these things. Oh no, not raiders. Raiders out in the water. Go figure. All right. Smash that for me, man. All right. Smash that one too, please. Whoops. I dropped it on the ground. Here we go. So there's our plates. Hopefully they go the other direction. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep real quick. Yeah. So maybe they'll go away. I don't think they'll go away. I just don't want any raiders over here. I don't really have time to fight them and I don't have any any way of protecting myself. So, <laughs> all right, so there's our wrench. Cool, so we got the wrench. Nice. It says task complete. I just don't know where the task is. So do I, there we go. And then if I just put a crankshaft on it and crank this, watch what just happens to the tree. Wait, what? It's supposed to cut the entire tree down, isn't it? What? I thought it was supposed to cut the entire tree down. Hmm. Do you think it's because it's a it's four trees? I mean, I could be wrong with this whole thing, but I could have swore that's what it said. Uh, let's go like this. No, I need it to turn. Yeah, turn. No, and then I'll turn this way. This way. <laughs> How do you turn it? There we go. Good God. Uh, okay. So if we take this uh, hand crank and stick it on there, there we go. So it must be because this is touching another tree. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you guys. That cuts down the whole entire tree. Isn't that cool? All right, guys, we did some things today. I'm kind of happy with that. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's, we're going to take it slow. I'll learn it eventually. Hopefully by next episode, I'll have some more materials for sure. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you click the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, join my Discord if you'd like. Um, I'll, put a, I'll put a new link in there. I don't know if the link is dead or what. Or maybe you guys just don't freaking care. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll see you next time, guys. It's been fun.